Hey guys, in regards to my warm up, I want you to uh, to notice something real quick. I know it's the winter time. I know it's cold, uh, but listen, this is something that uh, I did in high school at track, and and I did it without even realizing it. And a lot of you guys did it as kids, but you would uh, you would do all your activities outside. You'd play football. You would run relay races. You would chase your brother or sister or whatever it may be. You would do it barefoot. And if you noticed. You could run faster. You may have been a, a stronger. You may not even have ankle problems or knee problems or whatever it may be. So I really try to keep that kind of childlike playfulness as well as uh, my proprioceptive awareness. I do a lot of my warm-ups um, on the, uh, as far as my workout goes, on the floor here. I got just some horse stall mats. I do them in my socks or barefoot. It always involves jumping rope general body weight things, general warm-ups. I'm moving to some dynamic uh, warm-ups and different stretches, but it's a great way of working the ankles, the muscles and the tendons and the ligaments of the feet and of the Achilles and of the, of the calf and just everything like that. So it's a great way just to add some additional strength. It's a little secret tip. Honestly, you could probably improve your sprinting and uh, your vertical jump, your lateral movement, just by training and warming up barefoot. So you don't need to be on wobble boards. I mean, all those things serve a purpose, but... Budget friendly, just go barefoot, get warmed up. Quick tip, I'm out. All right, hey guys, I've almost finished up my, uh, my warm-up. Like I said, I started out with just some uh, gentle warm-up. I did some skipping rope. Uh, sometimes I'll go for reps, 300, 500. Sometimes I'll go for a minute. Um, sometimes I vary my footwork. I try to keep my feet quick. Like I said, then I move on to some body weight movements, help keep me athletic, still get my body prepared for the weight that I'm about to lift. But uh, some of you guys, you may or may not have seen TKEs, known as terminal knee extensions. These are great if you're really um, in season, you're doing a lot of agility, a lot of running, a lot of training, whatever it may be, and you've got some tender knees. What we're going to do is just take one of our bands. It doesn't have to be a lot of tension. For most athletes, purple is all that you need, average bands really. So what we're going to do is I'm going to try and keep my reps high. I normally do this before my squatting. Uh, it just helps prepare my patellas and my knees for the work that's uh, forthcoming. But uh, I'm not a camera guy, so bear with me. But I'm just going to hook this around my right leg. It's the one that's giving me most trouble right now. I've really stepped up my training a notch. I'm going to hook it right below this knee. Hook it to secure surface. Get some tension. My right toe is up. And I'm going to drive that heel in the ground and lock that leg. If you've got runner's knee, jumper's knee, patella tendonitis, whatever it may be, besides icing and rest, make sure your re regeneration, uh, foam rolling your IT bands, your piriformis, and, and your flexibility. That's why warm up is so important. There's many variations and examples of this. Hell, I may put together a video and just show you how to progress between the bands, different levels of incline. You can use different heights of steps, cables, you name it. All right, so there you have it. I'm going to perform some, uh, some explosive movement, and then uh, it's on. Later. Woo! It's starting to get heavy now. Uh, I'm about midway through my sets. Got the uh, new muscle driver plates. 
on the safety squat bar, two chains to each side. Uh, I'm just hitting some three rep uh, maxes. I'm going to hit another set before I move on and uh, progress to the next plate. You won't find that at Gold's Gym. Uh, you want to be explosive. No matter how heavy that weight gets, you want to focus on exploding off that box. You want to come down quick, but under control if that makes sense. You stay tight, you stay set. And when you're there, you pop those hips. You got to explode off that box. Make sure those chains deload. That looked pretty good. I got about two minutes for the next set. In between my sets, I usually hit a neck harness, band pull aparts. Shit, sometimes, man, I just chill. Hey, I'm gonna hit my top set. I'm working about 85, 90%. I'm gonna hit this set right here. I'll stay static, which means I'll keep the weight the same. So uh, I'm gonna hit sets of three for the next two sets. But uh, right now, I got my tunes cranking, little Bone Thugs in Harmony. Y'all from Cleveland representing. Right here, we about to tear this shit up. That's how it's done. That's how it's done. Woo! Guys, you ain't gonna get strong. You're not gonna get big. And all the parents that want the athletes to get faster. Forget the agility ladders, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> That's where it's at. You could use a weight plate, the air X pad, a box, a bozu bar. I don't care. Just if you want to increase the depth, get a little more glute and hamstring activation, get that in. 8, 12, 15 reps per leg. Really enforces your form, your balance, your proprioception, your core. It'll also, athletes, you're, you're accelerating, you're driving, you're pushing. You're building up the, the knee, the quad. Ladies, that's really important for you, all the soccer girls. It's a real bad epidemic right now. You guys have, across the country, you guys have more ACL injuries than any other sport, any, any male combined. So it's very important for you guys to really take part in strength training. Make sure you're getting your, your squats. Make sure you've got perfect form. Make sure you can do it within your own body weight. Hit that unilateral training. From there, your speed, your agility, it'll come. I'm going to hit some posterior work, maybe some band pull-throughs, cables, kettlebell swings, something like that. Not real sure. I'm going to wrap this up, hit some core, and uh, stay tuned. i got much more. Tomorrow I'm going to multi-directional speed, speed day, so I'm going to work on some different things that I do for my sports. Um, this is a good day to get some extra conditioning. If you're not uh, involved in a sport and you're just sore, beat up, foam roll, whatever it may be, I'm going to do a ton of foam rolling. Um, as well, myself, right now, I had to crank some tunes, get this post to your chain, and uh, I got to get on home, man. My wife is waiting on me, so take care, guys. If you're looking for this video, make sure you visit the webpage, post your comments, and uh, until next time, later.